Shabad House For two nights and two days, the Shabad House is the centre of the news on TV. Under attack by terrorists, defended by commandos, it first feels like a video game. But then, all too real. A child amid the blood of his father, mother and others is rescued by his nanny and taken to a faraway place. That year in November, terror almost won. It is difficult to understand pushback when grudge fossilizes and blood begets blood throughout history. I often think of the child Moshe whenever my city is at its seams, blowing to dust under surgical incisions of flyovers or wrecked by rain havoc. Now there is news of him returning to live in the same house one day like his parents, staying firm and fearless in a world of living love. They say he will follow in the steps of his father and mother and become a rabbi. Forgiveness that might delete memory and perhaps alter the course of history. Molecules of a beloved rife in the air, the soil, returning hope and peace to the soul. Spring migration, praying in the direction of home. Bodhi tree, spears blossoming into stipules.